We finished the vocal record since uh, 2014. Actually, me and my mom, we're a big fan of the brand. Are you in Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Hi everyone, this is Jessie in China. My channel focuses on introducing China and Chinese people. So please subscribe my channel if you are interested in China. Okay, today my topic is about English. We all know English is the most spoken language in the whole world. And we Chinese spend more than 10 years to learn English in the school. But due to lack of practice, most of the Chinese people don't speak English well. And celebrities are no exception. Let's take a look of this variety show. My name is Wei Da Xun. My name is Wei Da Xun. I like to play basketball, play computer games. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? Not bad, right? They can still communicate with each other, but their lack of resources is not so good. But there are some Chinese celebrities who speak very good English. I'm not talking about the ones from Taiwan, Hong Kong, or the ones who were born abroad or went abroad uh, to study in their very young age. I'm going to share with you the top 10 Chinese mainland celebrities who speak very good English. So please stay tuned. Hello everyone, my name is Yang Qianxi and I'm from China. It's my pleasure to be here. And during the forum, I see some people are building better environments, some are researching medical miracles, and I'm very impressed. Good afternoon, everybody. I am a singer. My name is Zhou Shen. I'm from China. And we are recording a TV show named Chang'e Shi Jie Ting. It means sing to the world. And we are 12 new singers standing here, and it's our pleasure to be there and to sing our Chinese pop music to you. I'm so happy standing here. Thank you. I think 67, this year 50 years old. My uh, professional as a dancer. I'm a professional classical ballet dancer since nine years old, as a young boy. So 1999, I found the first modern dance company in China. Okay. I know myself clearly I should be a woman when I was six years old. When I was 19, went to the United States learning a modern dance. Then I decided, okay, now I have to become myself. 28 years old, I can take full responsibility to myself. Then I did a change in China, in Beijing. First life, my mother gave me the Chinese. Second time, I gave myself a birth, still need China. To say, three years is a generation gap, which means that <laughs> there are more than six gaps between, between us. Do you really want to hear Uncle Hu's point of view? You're learning too well, Uncle. He called himself Uncle Hu. That's why the silence, you know, why everybody's, everybody's thinking, Uncle Hu. Okay, Let's okay. say, would you want to listen to the advice to Brother Hu? Thank you. You're so nice. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Let's get back to the point. My character's name is Chen Li En, and she's from mainland China. And she's a very special female computer engineer ex or expert or programmer. Yes, yeah, she's running her own company, and she's very independent spirit. Wow. And also she, I would say she's, um, yes, she's smart, but at the same time, because she's too smart, she's too, too good at this this kind of field. So she's lonely. She's not so satisfied about her life. But actually, me and my mom were a big fan of the brand. And my first ring of Shomei was the uh, Josephine. It's a good combination of modern and classic. Um, 
The most I like about the brand is the history part of it and the spirit. I think the most beautiful woman is not knowing how beautiful and grace she is. It's all about the inner part. Uh, hi, excuse me. May I ask you the way? Which way? The way to your heart. House. Absolutely, that this pink house. We can see that this color is pink. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing here? <laughs> is that a pink house? Uh, yes, it's my house. Oh, What's so your pretty. name? Uh, Dilraba. Ah, Hilba. <laughs> what a beautiful girl you are. <laughs> Basildi. Nice to meet you. I thought about becoming an actor because um, my personality was more shy and introverted. And I thought uh, becoming an actor should be somebody who's very outgoing and just enjoy to be the center of attention, but <laughs> just the opposite. You've played some lot of research as well. Just want to really play this very vivid image, let people see a real drug addict could be really scary. And during the interview, I realized a lot of people, they do drugs because they don't know. It can have such a serious result, and it's really you couldn't quit. What's going on? <laughs> Welcome to a brand new episode of Billboard Live. My name is Kevin Kenny. We are joined today by Jane Zhang. How are you, Jane? How are you? I'm fine. And everyone, hello, this is Jane. <laughs> I think the first time I, I know him is from uh, uh, Apologize, that song. Yeah. It's too late, Apologize. I love that song, and that was the first time I know his name. And uh, uh, from the friend of my, many friend of my, a uh, huge fan of him, and uh, they really loved all the beats that he he's doing and he's done uh, before. Uh, so they talked with me and introduced me a, a lot of information from from them. So uh, I think he's really just the one I need. So we Definitely. trying to reach him and. When I started to do the first uh, English track uh, with J-Rock, Jerome, and uh, his manager just, just at the same time in, in L.A., in the same studio, and he just passed the door and heard my music, and he said, okay, I might be able to set up a meeting for you to let Timbaland hear your music. I said, what? <laughs> it just happened. That's crazy. Yeah, so after that, we, we had a meeting, and he listened to my music, and then we started to do the whole album. Well, that was just like an amazing dream. Yeah. To say I love New York City, because New York City, yes. from dawn till dusk, is always full of energy, yep. and emerging infinite creativity. Uh, I like her artistic atmosphere, I'm fascinated about a wonderful scenery in the skyline, of course. Yeah, yeah. And I know Bobby Brown Graham was born here, and the city gave her the ultimate aesthetic inspiration, avant-garde fashion, worldwide tolerance, and a women's confidence. My first Bobby Brown moment was several years ago while preparing for a red carpet appearance, and Bobby Brown products made me very amazing. It made me more confident and showed my true self.